everybody to this wet and windy cemetery scene. <laughs> I am in full today. Hopefully the weather isn't too bad that you can't hear me, but I wanted to come and see this cemetery quite close to home. But uh, it's got a lot of awesome historic features as usual. Um, there's not much written about it, but uh, dated you'll have to go and look it up because I'm afraid I did this on the fly as usual. The only thing I did read was that this church behind me was actually destroyed by a storm and it was rebuilt, but it's got a lot of lovely features, so I thought I'd take you a look around. Whilst it's raining, it's beautiful. <laughs> Not many people could say that, but a British, so rain, yay! <laughs> Here. Weather is awful. <laughs> so apologies. Trying to shade the camera from rain. But it does make everything look very green. So we've got this little pathway here. The door. And you can see the view from up here because we're very high up. There we go. View from behind the church there. Oh. Clock's running behind me. <laughs> Seem to tell him it very well <laughs> when it comes to churches. Obviously, I don't think the church is going to be open. It's very rare when they are. We're going to look in a bit. Maybe these ones here are kind of like aged order. <laughs> the one that's on this side being the oldest. Late text. Very fancy. I don't want to be thought rude when I'm filming. People's houses are like right behind me, but I always would love to have a house next to a cemetery. It would be my dream come true. Perhaps you do. Do you live near a cemetery? I have one near me, but I travel vast distances around the world uh, to find cemeteries. Every country I've been to, I think I've always found a cemetery. It's one of the first things I always do. I'm really loving the font used on this as well. I wonder if there's something somewhere that keeps names of people that do script. Because it's so curly, this one. I haven't seen anything like it before. I got absolutely drenched in a graveyard today. What did you do? <laughs> we got an end person trying to bust out. Pushed out all of the graves around here. <laughs> Wonder how old that tree is. Example here of erosion at its finest. How much of a dinder is in that? That must be like the wind coming in, scooping along it and going back out again. We've got a wee tiny grave, tiny grave. The size of that. If I could get myself next to it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can. Let's see if I can. Here's my drenched feet. <laughs> it's all eroded away, all the pieces on the side there. I have to check this one out. Right at the back, the very far corner. Lovely little forest area back here. It's a bit more sheltered. And there's a heart in this tree. Oh. Down here of a John Smith, very default, but it's got an anchor on it. Maybe it was the John Smith that went to go and live with Pocahontas. No, I don't think so. There's an awesome, really old section around the corner here. I'm hiding from the wind because we all know it's going to be whistling around and you won't be able to hear me. When we go around there, keep in mind it'll be bustly bustly. That's not a word. But let's go look. <laughs> we see grass on the ground has gone the direction of the wind because it's just so windy up here. There's this one I wanted to come and 
see because it's just amazing. Edward Charles. And as you can see, this pillar is missing. And this one is almost. It's right on the edge of crumbling. This one's already gone. Very impressive though. Best part about this section? Mossy! It's all squidgy and mossy. Mm -hmm. So as the clock is about to strike midday, I'm going to see if it's going to be as it looks like it is. Let's get out some wind. Looks like it's open to me. inside then we'll skedaddle. Very pretty. Okay, so that's going to be a wrap because the wind is whipping so much that even though the rain stops, you won't be able to hear me. It was lovely of the Reverend to just let me in just then to take some photographs as a funeral is about to take place. I'm not that disrespectful. I'm not going to stop filming, taking pictures when people are here wanting to mourn. So this is uh, the parish of St. Mary's in Bulwell. It's 1600s is some of the graves, so it's wonderfully old and it's still active, which is great. So come and take a look. Till next time, Cemetery Seekers!